Procedurally generating terrains are a great way to quickly produce high quality landscapes for exporting, but World Creator 2023 also allows you to fully customize the terrain by literally shaping it any way you want. Shape layers offer a variety of ways to customize your landscape, and the most diverse type of these are sculpt layers. Under the main terrain section is where our shape layers are located. We've touched on biomes, which are primarily the procedural aspect to your terrain designs, while shape layers can be any variety of specifically crafted custom designs. Clicking to add a new shape layer, we have the option to add a sculpt layer, a stamp layer, which includes importing alpha stamps, height maps, or displacement maps, procedural layers for additional variety, map tiler layers for satellite DEM data, and path layers for custom spline creation. Let's first add a new sculpt layer, which is the shape type that lets you manually sculpt the terrain with a variety of shaping tools. The first option to choose is which operation mode you want. By default, overwrite is enabled, which completely overrules any fractal noise within the boundary of your sculpt area, designated within the area settings, but also within the handles on the terrain, of which you can scale and rotate the position of your border. Overwrite lets you essentially sculpt all the details manually. The add operation lets you sculpt with whatever detail is present on the terrain's mesh already. The max operation is only for sculpting new mesh that is above the underlying terrain mesh, while the min operation is only for sculpting any existing mesh that is below the underlying terrain mesh. Next choice is the interpolation mode. A shape layer is essentially altering the height map of the terrain, which for a grayscale image holds a value range from 0 to 1. The interpolation mode establishes how smooth that range of values are. Here we have three stripes I've painted on the terrain. The default mode is Cat Mole ROM, which I recommend using, but we can change the mode to Linear or even to Nearest, which has much sharper transitions. The remaining layer settings have to deal with the blending factor of the resulting height map that you sculpt, particularly the choice at what level step or terrain level of detail you want this sculpt layer to start adjusting. Which value you choose is a critical choice in the amount of detail you edit. The area settings are the same masking settings we've touched on before, which allows you to alter the blending values and shape of the area mask, as well as its border. The last critical element is the layers resolution. This controls the output resolution of the height map or displacement map that you will be sculpting in this layer. 32 by 32 is the default and still produces some fine results, especially if you are just editing a lower level step value, but you can increase the resolution of the sculpt layer up to 512 by 512. The next step is the fun part, sculpting. Clicking edit reveals the shape editor panel to the left. Now there are two different styles of editing you can use any way you want, sculpting via the brush tools or via the grid tools. Brush tools let you sculpt with a high degree of finesse based on your selected resolution. It's the tool set you'd probably are more accustomed to when thinking about clay or mesh sculpting. There are a variety of brush settings you can change from the brush's alpha map, which I'll show you in a later video how to add your own. Fall off modes, which control the sharpness of the alpha brush and the brush properties has everything from strength to random rotation for variability. The grid tool set, on the other hand, lets you evenly shape the terrain based on a grid segment or segments. This grid is also based on the resolution you've established, so the higher the resolution, the more detailed the grid adjustments can be. The benefit of the grid tool set is to evenly stretch or displace the terrain based on your selection, while the brush tool set is for the more fluid sculpting approach. You do not have to choose one or the other, as each tool set can be used in tandem. Plus, the duplicate option in the grid tools is quite handy at copying your designs from one area to another. The last section are the actions. These are just the controls to flip, rotate, or flatten the entire sculpt design. Sculpt layers are one of the most customizable aspects you can add to your landscape in World Creator. By mixing different sculpt layers together in a variety of different ways or resolutions, you can achieve some highly specific project design needs or find a unique combination that might just surprise you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.